So, I thought today we'd do something completely different. The other day when I was shooting the video on this uh, Sparky XZ robot, and I couldn't find its box, well after I shot the video I decided I'd do a little bit more looking and that if the robot was there maybe it was hiding down below here somewhere. And let's get this camera where you can kind of see in here. I didn't find the box. But, the box does exist, because I remember what it looks like. But as I got into uh, removing all this stuff, what I found, besides all these mint and box robots, I found these two boxes. Well, maybe there's three. I found these boxes that uh, sports bot. Sold by Sears in a brown box. And I'm going, what are those? Another one. Oh, three of them. Is there more? Holy crap. Now I'm going to wonder if there's even more than that. Well, I think, I think there's just four of them. So, <clears throat> not really sure how to aim the camera. Maybe I need to get the camera up higher, get more picture in. Hang on everybody, I'm taking you up. Let's go to the next extension on the tripod here. Ouch! Pinch my finger in the tripod. Okay, is that better? Might work. Once I'm over by the boxes, I won't be able to see the viewfinder, so I won't really know if anything's in view. So, I've got these bots that apparently I've received at some point in my life, and I've never looked at. Maybe we can find a, a date or something. There's some information about them. Here's some paperwork. Let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Electronic bots. That's what it says. 1992. So, <laughs> I've, I've apparently owned these for a while. They've never been out of the box. So I don't really know. It looks like maybe it just might make sounds, because this one's showing a couple of uh, AA batteries getting put in the back. And there's a sticker sheet that tells you where to put the stickers on the robot. There's some uh, attachments, so maybe it's motorized. Because it looks like the drill and this thing spin. And on this side. This side we've got some missiles, rockets. Missiles of some sort, black balls. Still taped and wired in. Let's see if we can get it uh, free from the box. So apparently there was four different versions of this toy. You know, a lot of the Sears toys were always sold in just plain brown boxes. They were how they were able to sell their toys for less, or so they claim. Okay, so I can see those big rockets went back here. There's these buttons. Let's get a couple of batteries and see if it makes some sort of sound or something. Entertain yourself while I'm uh, in the other half of the building here. some nice uh, dollar store batteries we used just the other day so they probably they probably still work maybe so 
says you're terminated. It's these three buttons on the back. So, it's got uh, a head that must pop up somehow. It's got a front here that looks to be hinged. There's a, an opening where stuff could be put. Maybe you store the extra balls or blasters or something there? I don't know. It looks like that can go down. I'm not sure why I'm terminated, but I am. Just uh, just wheels on the bottom. Maybe that's why I put it. Uh, the other arm will obviously snap on there. Okay, so we got a rough idea of what we're talking about. Let's see what's in the uh, the other three. And so we're three different ones apparently. This guy's got a. Uh, Huge ball launching arm with these balls down here. Some sort of big hoop. He's got three buttons as well. Let's see if we can uh, get into him a little easier, maybe. And he's still wired in too. These things haven't uh, haven't ever been out of the box. I must not have been impressed. Probably like Christmas gifts or something. It's kind of wacky looking. Discolored in the feet for some reason. Uh, okay, so his batteries go uh, back here. Let's see if he says the same stuff or if he has new, new exciting sounds. <coughs> Yeah, play ball. Okay, and there's some sort of slot here where that arm would fit in. So we got a missile firing terminating one and a play ball one. Let's see what his instruction sheet looks like. Kicking T assembly for SportBot. So this one is SportBot. Oh, it's got a baseball bat on one arm that he's probably snapping near the hip. And yep, you can load the balls in. And that little hatch we looked at on the side is a place for uh, storing the balls. And the light bulb in the head, it's not even an LED. It says the light bulb type GE14 can be replaced. Imagine that. I guess in, what do you say? What is it? Let's see if this says the year too. Toy Biz, made in China in 1992. <clears throat> so, almost 20 years ago. I would have thought it would have been LEDs from 20 years ago. All kinds of a sticker pack for it as well. So we got that one. Let's move him over here. And we got you there. Sport box. What's this one going to be? Well, this one's all black, which I kind of like. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this paperwork. There's his ninja bot. That's why he's all black. He's got two batteries. So I wonder what the ninja bot will say. He's got swords and all that kind of stuff and tells you how to replace the light bulb as well. <coughs> so, oh yeah, he's got nunchucks. Let's free those up. Everybody likes a good nunchuck. First, they're still wired in place as well. With this arm. Some weapons are left in the uh, in the box. Some sort of black piece that would go on them somewhere. He's got the nunchuck 
fighting action. He's got a button on the side. Let's uh, put a couple of batteries in them and see what old Mr. Uh, Ninja Bot has to say. Now this room is probably full of hidden treasures like that because there's, there's way over 4,000 robot toys out here. I've been collecting for almost 41 years. There's not much chance that I'm going to remember all of them. And some of them I might have got for like Christmas or something. They just got stashed immediately away. Okay, so he makes some sort of strange noises. He's got uh, rubber pads on the bottom. Not quite sure. Oh, I see. That's his kicking action. Did you see that leg come up? He just delivered a kick. I don't remember how. Oh, there he goes again. That's got a hole on the front. I got a feeling. Got a feeling this ties in with that. Because there's a couple places where this could snap on. Okay. And there's a red thing to catch. And then some of these accessories must snap into that center hole. Cool, I like the black one. So far that ninja box is my favorite. Okay, box number four. Oh! Dropped whatever it was. Dropped this bag of accessories. Got orange balls and stuff in it. And let's find the paperwork. It's got some sort of camo stickers. It uh, just says electronic bots. Shows where to put the stickers. Cannon assembly. Combat bot. Okay. So it's a combat bot. That's why it has the camo. Let's find out what Mr. Combat Bot's all about. He's uh, he's completely wired in too, so he's never been out of the packaging. This must be the first uh, unboxing here in the robot hat. Hooey! Who would have thought? And somebody give me your batteries. How about you? I don't know what I did with Ninja Bot's battery door. But it's got to be laying here somewhere because I haven't moved from this spot, right? Okay, he's got a different battery box. And obviously the other arm, which is located here with his big frickin' gun, would snap on to his shoulder blade there. Buttons are up here on top, I guess. I don't know what he's saying, blah. That's nice machine gun. You can move the arms. He's got wheels on the bottom. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this uh, weapon. Oh, I see. It's got a spring load, so you can pull that back. I guess you just release to, to fire the ball. Doesn't look like there's any catch that I can find. No working trigger. I guess this uh, slot here. One like that. Okay. Bam. Well. What the heck? I didn't know what to expect. All I knew was that I'd, I'd spotted two boxes and there ended up being uh, four boxes. 
of robots that have never been opened before. And Lord knows how many more little surprises are hidden out here. I haven't even looked. Uh, haven't even looked over on that side yet. Because maybe down in there is going to be where the box for, uh, for the robot is. Or who knows what's hiding back there. Or, for that matter, down behind any of these. I mean, I know I line the fronts usually with uh, robots that are still in their boxes. And then back uh, behind them, I normally will store the large boxes for the robots where there's not room to put them up in the shelving. But, uh, could be some great surprises. We may have to do some more of these videos and do some digging.